My dudes, we are only one week away from version 3.4 coming out, and that means new characters, new story, and a whole bunch of other stuff. But the question on your mind right now, and probably why you clicked on this video is, what do you need to do to pre-farm for Al Hytham when he comes out in version 3.4? What is going on, my dudes? Stash here, back again with another Genshin Impact video. And today, like I said, we are gonna be talking about Al Hytham and what you need to do to get ready for him as he is about to come to Genshin Impact. But before we get into that, please make sure to hit that like, subscribe button down below and don't forget to hit the notification bell to be notified of when the next Genshin Impact video comes out. Guys, this is also sponsored by Gamer Subs. That's right, Gamer Subs is the gluten-free, keto-friendly, wonderful drink that you don't have to worry about, you know, drinking on with bad chemicals because it doesn't have any so get yourself some gamer subs down below click the link in the description use code infantry and send me the order number because in all honesty it helps out and we might get our own personal code here soon so without any further delay let's go ahead and get right into it Now, of course, like I said, we are talking about Al Haitham, and big shout out to HoneyHunterWorld.com for providing this information. You guys are the real champs here. So, Al Haitham here is going to be a one handed sword dendro catalyst, or dendro catalyst, dendro element user. So, bear with me. I've, I've taken like so many takes on this video, so I'm trying my best. Um, but yes, it looks like Al Haitham is going to be a little bit harder to grind for only because of the fact that. He's gonna have a few things that we can't get until the release of version 3.4. So let's go ahead and get right into it. So first things first, we're gonna talk about the Ascension materials that you're going to need. You're gonna need at least one of these Nagatis uh, Emerald Silvers. You're going to need at least nine of the Nagatis Emerald Fragments. You're going to need nine of the Nagatis Emerald Chunks and six of the Nagatis Emerald Gemstones. These are things that you get from defeating bosses that drop Dendro Drops, AKA the Terror Shroom, and I think that's really it. Oh wait, no, and the Dendro uh, Hypostasis. But the new boss, the uh, Wee Nut, uh, I like to call him, uh, is actually going to drop Dendro as well. So be ready because your grind may not be so bad grinding all these Dendro, uh, things if you're getting ready to level them up to 90. Which brings me to the next thing, which is these Suedo Stamins. Now, the Suedo Stamin is from that boss battle, the Sakit Winut. Uh, so be ready for that because you're gonna need 46 of these all together. That's right, 46 of these things and it's annoying AF, but it has to be done. So follow along with that or followed up by that is the Sand Grease Poopa. Now these are going to be the new uh, Sumeru specialty that you're going to be collecting around the new area. I don't know if older areas are gonna have some of this pop up and I highly, uh, I highly doubt it, but at the same time, be ready for that. There's uh, interactive maps that are going to have this update live and ready. So just again, be ready for that because you're gonna need it. Now, the biggest concern, or at least from what I've seen with a lot of people, is getting the other items on the side because everything else you get from bosses or you know that you have to travel through Sumeru or new areas, but sometimes it's tough to get these items here, like the faded red satins, unless you've been playing Sumeru as much as I have. So you gotta be ready for these types of uh, items and trying to get them. You could get them all over the map, uh, by defeating any of the Emirates. So you're gonna need 18 in total of the Faded Red Satins to rank up. You're going to need 30 of the Trimmed Red Silks, and you're going to need 36 of these Rich Red Brocades. So be ready to destroy as many Emirates as you need to. I almost said a very, very bad word. <laughs> but yes, you're gonna need a lot of these. And what's really cool about I'll height them, and I just want, kinda wanna point it out, is that you're gonna be getting a little bit of extra Dendro damage on top of that, so be ready to build your I'll height them around maybe a Dendro set. I'll let you know in the next video. Well, not in the next video, in the next I'll height them video. So, uh, the other thing too, if I can find it here, there we go. So skill ascension, remember, this is only if you're worried about ascending to 10 on all three skills. So bear in mind, all the stats I'm about to give you are all for triple crowning. So you might only need a little bit less than that. You might need a lot less than that if you're only going for, you know, seven, seven, seven. But I digress. Let's go ahead and get into it. So 
In total, you're going to need nine teachings of ingenuity. This is a domain that you could farm up Tuesdays, Fridays, and Sundays. So make sure that you're farming up the ingenuity domain if you haven't done so already, because you're gonna need a lot of just ingenuity tablets in, in general. So, and then from here, what you could see for the blues, you're going to need 21 of the guide of ingenuities for just one of them which means that you're going to need 63 guides of ingenuity for the link or to get the level six in total it looks like so to get to the level six all across the board you're going to need a lot of them and then of course we have the purple side of that or the rare ones the philosophies of ingenuity now these ones you're going to need a total of 38 for one and i believe if i if i calculate this correctly in my head because i'm very very bad that's 76 I think that's 112 if I remember correctly. So around, a hundred, let me get, let me go ahead and grab my calculator really quick because I am very, very terrible at uh, <laughs> trying to do this in my head. I was close, 114. You're gonna need 114 of these philosophies of ingenuity. So be ready for that. Now, that's also not including, again, the faded red satins that we're talking about. So in total to get all the way to 10, you're gonna, or sorry, to get, to get to level two, you're gonna need six of these faded red satins, and that's from level one to level two. So you're gonna need, in total, 18 faded red satins on top of the red satins that you needed earlier, which was 18, so you need 36 in total. Now, from level three all the way to level six here you're gonna need 21 times three so that's 63 in total on top of what you're gonna be getting up above which is 30 so you're gonna need 93. and then of course from level seven to level 10 if you are going for the triple crown you're going to need let's see here 31 93 for just getting all the way to 10 on top of what you already need to get you know to uh that to level 90 my apologies so you need 36 plus the 93 and that's going to be 99 no 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 uh -huh. something about it. let's see uh, uh 127 if i if i'm doing this correctly yes 100 and no hold on let me let me calculate this again i'm dumb <laughs> I am so bad right now. My apologies, guys. I'm trying to I'm trying to do this correctly so that I can uh, get you guys the right numbers. Uh, I don't know why I haven't done the, done this like before. So it looks like you're going to need 129 of the rich red brocades right here. Or sorry, sorry, 126, 126. I messed up on that one a little bit. So. You're going to need that much faded or not faded rich red brocades there now an easier one for me to calculate and it doesn't take me a lot of you know brain power is the mirror emotions you get these from the scaramouche boss fight now this is going to take a long time and hopefully you have been farming your scaramouche boss fight consistently unlike me because i'm terrible at remembering to do that so you're going to need in total 18 of these mirror emotions if you're going for the triple crown otherwise it's six per level 10 in general so i would honestly say that your best bet would be to go to 777 and this is just bare minimum like if you're if you're going for like the triple crown but you want to wait and see go for the 777 which means you're only going to need three of those mirror emotions and then of course you already know you're going to need three crowns so that's going to be a lot of farming and in total for mora you're going to need around from what i remember 7.1 million mora to not only get yourself from level one to level 90 but also to get all of your skills to 10 which is going to be a lot of grinding so you got to be ready for that so if you're not prepared be ready, you're gonna have to be, because honestly, Alhaitham is a lot of fun from what it looks like. I've seen a lot of his gameplay already, and I'm pretty hyped about him. Uh, I am laughing that he is just Dendro Kaching, but I digress. It looks like he's gonna be a lot of fun, so this is what you're gonna need to pre-farm for Alhaitham.
Now, guys, if you haven't done so already, please make sure to hit that like and subscribe button down below. And don't forget to hit the notification bell to be notified of when the next video comes to your newsfeed. Because trust me, I'm going to be doing a bunch of videos. I always do. So it's a new year and we have plenty of plans to do a lot of really fun things. And I'm really hoping that you guys will enjoy the content coming. So let me know in the comments down below. Are you guys excited for Alhytham? I definitely want to hear you guys' opinion on it and what you think of Alhytham in general. So that's going to be it for today. Love you guys to death. And as always, we will catch you guys in the next video. Please take care and be safe, y'all.